Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss the problem A from the latest educational code forces round 102 problem name replacing elements. So in this problem you are given that you have an array A1 till An and all the elements in that are positive integers. Now in one step what you can do, you can take three integers or three indices as you can see i, j and k such that you can make the ith element equal to the sum of the j and the kth element. So you can take any three indices. Take the two elements and make the two elements sum equal to third element. You don't care about the third element, whatever is stored there, you don't care. But you just make the sum of the two elements equal to the third element. And like you, you just put that value there. So now, can you make all the AI, all the elements in this like array which is given to you, lower than or equal to D? So you are also given some value D. So you can do this task, just take out two elements, add them out and make their sum equal to the like next element which is ith element uh, if you can do this by doing any number of operations such that all the elements in the array become less than or equal to d then you have to return out yes or else no now how you can do that problem now just first always see the constraints as you can see the ai is small like the value is small also the number of elements is also small but t is there so it means that you can do this question if you do an in o of n like o of n square then you can pass this out. So O of n square is also fi fine. Now how you can do that? If you can, because if you somehow take two elements, if you somehow just take two elements and see that their sum is less than or equal to D, then what you can see here is that you can take that two pair always and make all the rest of the elements equal to the sum of that. I'll tell you what this problem is. Okay, just open up. So there are two cases. The first case can be that all the elements are already less than, like all the elements are already less than or equal to D. So you don't have to do anything. So there are some elements in the array. And now uh, it can happen that all the elements are already less than or equal to D. So you want that all the elements should become less than or equal to D after the number of operations. So you can choose any two indices and like any three indices and make the sum of any two indices equal to the third index and like store the sum at this point. But now what the main task is because let's assume you can first check out that all the elements is already less than or equal to D. So it's always like it's already fine. Else what you can do if you somehow found a pair whose sum is less than or equal to D then you can make all the rest of the numbers because its sum is less than or equal to D. So both of the numbers should all or like always less than D obviously less than or equal to D. Okay, so it, it is obvious that if the sum of these two elements is le less than or equal to D, so the sum of them is less than or equal to D, so both the numbers individually are less than D. So it's already fine. But now for the other numbers, because the sum is less than D, you can take out this sum and put it at, at, at every position. So it, it thus means that you can make all the elements less than equal to D by just finding out a pair which has a value less than or equal to D. And that you can do, I'll take down the code part now. So the first thing here is you just have to find out that whether all the elements are less than or equal to D. Uh, so this is D I have making this equal to K. If all the elements are less than or equal to D then the answer is obviously that fine. If you just find out that uh, like if it is already less than or equal to D all the elements and you have to output yes that it is already fine. Else you have to iterate over the whole array and find out that whether there is some pair who is less than or equal to D or like it's actually K which has find out if you just find out an answer then answer is yes and just return out at this case as the answer is no because if you cannot find a pair you cannot actually make all the rest of the numbers equal to like d because you have to store the value at all the numbers the, the sum of two numbers so you can al always change any number by the sum of two numbers so if you can find out that the sum of two numbers is less than d then only you can change else you cannot change so it's a very simple observation if you find out the observation then it's simple I hope you understand the logic as well as the code. Still, let me know what you can mention now. Ask the next one. Keep coding. Bye.